Right, um, hello everybody, and today we are going to do some cool features you can do on your Samsung smartphone. So the first thing is, if you just go ahead and and pinch, or if you prefer, you can just long press. And then we're going to go to Samsung Themes. Which is a really good app, because as you can see here, this is the default theme. But then you can select loads of different themes here. All of these, you can search for your own theme at the top there. And you can also do like wallpapers. Sorry. Wallpapers and icons. Which is really cool. And very useful. And then also. You, you may have noticed this widget I've got here. If you go ahead and press on it, you can see it opens an app called Zedge, which is an extremely useful app. Sorry, I'm trying to use my phone. Um, sorry, advert. Goodness sake. One second, um, just need to, there we change app, there we go, so, you can see you've got all these things at the side here, so you can have a wallpaper, and you can change your ringtone, you can change your Ringtone and notification noise, you can change all of these, which is extremely, which I think is really good. That app is available on any Android phone, and all, well, actually, it's available on any phone. You can also get it on iOS. And also this background and the background on my lock screen. This, don't touch my phone, is from Zedge. And also this is this effect is from the theme I have. And then if you go ahead and open settings, you can see, so this will just take you to Samsung themes. And if you go ahead and go to the lock screen, we can, here we can see, we can change the clock style on the lock screen. I've got this, but you can have, say that, the normal one, and obviously this, and then um, I think it, at the end, uh, there, you can change the colour, and also you've got the face widgets, if you have a, more, a higher end phone, you can do more, and then you can go ahead and reorder them, yeah. reorder, and do that right there. And then also the app shortcuts, so you can choose some app shortcuts to open here. So I might not want it at Spotify. I might want um, I might want the clock there or what, or any any app you have. And then also, if you have, one second. A Android phone and you have something you can connect it to, so say my smartwatch here, I've got my Gear S3 um, whenever it's connected it will stay unlocked but it will automatically lock after I think a couple of hours and then there's on body detection which is very good and very useful but if someone pickpockets you quickly takes it, it won't be able to know that it's different. 
Let's just go back in there. Uh, and then you've got voice match, which is the OK Google. Yeah, I didn't want um, Google to come on there, so. Yeah, and then you've got the trusted places, so you could have it as your house or whatever. And it will know to be unlocked there. Which is very, which is all very good. And then actually there's some cool accessibility stuff, which, uh, is it vision? That's hearing. And I think it's dexterity and interaction. Yes, the assistant menu. You can turn that on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Which is this little menu here. You can have like all stuff, they can do screenshot, volume, screen control, cursor, which I really like. So if you so you control it here and you can do all that stuff. And then if you go in here, you can change all this stuff in the menu, which is all very, all very good. And then, yeah, I, th I do believe that is all the stuff on there. So. You'll go back out of it, and then, um, right, yeah. I accidentally got rid of a notification now, I do believe. Oh yes, and then you've got the game launcher. Incredible, which is basically, it sorts all your games into this little app. And then you've got the game tools, which if I go ahead and open, say, um, Rider, yeah, yeah, Rider, you've got this little menu down here, and you've got the, this here, that's a live stream, um, that is a separate app you download, um, called Game Live, which is only available for Samsung. You can do screenshot, screen touch lock, record, lock back, lock recent key. Wait, no, I want that locked. And then no alerts during game. That goes to the game launcher and that goes to the game tool settings. And that is all of all of those stuff I I think are very useful. And I hope you agree too. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!